One of my favorite gospel passages is Luke chapter 10. It begins with Jesus sending out 72 of his followers on a big mission trip. And in the middle of the chapter, they return telling Jesus about all their successes. They say, Lord, even the demons are subject to us because of your name. Hello, I'm Father James Kubicki. And in this passage, Jesus shares their joy, but he also cautions them. He tells them that, yes, he saw Satan fall like lightning because of their work, and he acknowledges that he did indeed give them power over their spiritual enemies. But then he says, nevertheless, do not rejoice because the spirits are subject to you, but rejoice because your names are written in heaven. Jesus knows that we often find our identity in external things. Perhaps we base our identity, our sense of self-worth, on how we look, but good looks won't last forever. Or maybe we find our sense of well-being in what we do, in performance, in success. But that too will come and go. There is one solid thing on which to base our identity, and it is indeed our deepest and truest identity. I am a child of God a son or a daughter of God the Father who loves me with the same infinite love with which he loves his beloved son, Jesus. That's your baptismal identity that no one can take away from you. You may not always live like a beloved son or daughter of God, but that is who you are. So believe it and live it today and every day.